Yes, 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 my friends. You already know what time it is. You know it's Pierre Nicholson from Broken Nation down here in beautiful South Florida, and it's going down in a major way. Hey, I'm here in the Alton community, man, looking at these beautiful homes that Colter Homes built for you. It is going down. Out. <laughs> Hey, look, man. Hey, look, life is for the living. And if life is for the living for you, then hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop these new videos. Listen, man, if you like property tours like this, you're looking to move down here in South Florida, then you want to subscribe. Trust me, I give you the goods. Hey, look, let's go in. Let's look at this. Boom. Look at what's going on. So, look, this is the Park D, right? You can get the Park D to uh, three to five bedrooms, right? Three to th three and a half baths, then two stories. The master is downstairs, and you get a two to three car garage, right? And the total square footage is 3,807 square feet. Okay? All right, let's see what the layout do. All right, man? I'm, I'm already, I'm liking a little traditional feel I'm getting from it. All right? Liking the window treatments. Okay, everything is impact glass. What does that mean? You don't have to put any shutters on your windows if hurricane, um, hurricane pass through. You can just leave it open like that. Impact glass, okay? And also it, in, it insulates your house way better. All right, beautiful frosted French door. That's what I like. You got a spray on stucco um, on the exterior of the house. And I'm loving this, this nice front porch vibes right here. Okay, let's go in. Oh yes, I know this house at least has at least four zones of AC. Why? Because that AC is so crisp. Walking through the door, I know that I know it has a. This is one of the zones, and it's isolated. If you want a crisp, cold and cool house, then you gotta have proper zonage in your house as far as AC. What AC is is cooling down where, and is it efficient enough AC to to do the job? Okay. A lot of people don't think about that. Right here in the foyer, nice. I see tray ceiling, deep tray, okay? And I'm also seeing a little industrial vibes happening here. What are you saying? This right here, the metal uh, light fixture. I'm seeing above the island. I'm seeing three light fixtures, and they got like the little industrial bulb and the, and the um, little mesh vibes. Before we get into that, right off of the foyer in the front door is the office, right? They give you plantation shutters, all right? Nice. And I like how they, this is not a tray ceiling, they just put some wood, some trimming on the, uh, on the ceiling and put in wallpaper, some nice texture wallpaper with some cat light and drip that uh, light fixture down the middle, which is nice, okay? And this got a lot of space, all right? They gave you a wet bar in the office with a wine um, cooler in here. Racks upon racks upon racks. And they gave you a beautiful granite stone in here, man. And they gave you some uh, mirroring on the wall, which makes the place look bigger with the nice uh, TV in here, okay? And this is a proper wet bar. Look at the storage for days. Nice gooseneck faucet and everything, man. Like they went in. And hey, hold up, somebody said, but is it Dovey? Why would you even ask? Of course it's dovetail, man. Get your mind right. And look how they put the trimming on the wall to give it a little vibe and they put these little, I want to call them sea urchins. They look like sea urchins, don't they? All right, boom. Hey, look, this look like jade, okay? This look like a big jade island, man. And guess what? If they making it, that means somebody, somebody most likely like it, man. And you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, this is not my first choice for, for island, this will be my first choice, but to somebody, this is hidden. It don't look bad though, it's different, very different. You get in this, it's like a statement piece, man, and comfortably fits four people, comfortably, right? Nice breakfast nook, right? With a custom seating back there, overlooking all this nice natural lighting coming through. Okay, you got your double GE fridge on the top, and then you got the freezer on the bottom, okay? You got your, yeah, your dishwasher, okay? Crazy cabinet space, gooseneck faucet, push button garbage disposal, under mount sink, which is nice. You got your countertop stove with the, um, the stove on the bottom. See, now, if you're gonna do this, might as well just get a regular stove because usually when people get the countertop stove, they're saving 
the bottom for like uh, for extra cabinet space. And usually what they do with the ovens is they find you know uh, they find somewhere to put them on a wall, push the cabinets out, put the whatever. I don't think because this don't want to have enough meat from here to the window, so they probably had to do this. Okay, so it might make sense just to get the push the stove. But if you like this vibe, do, do you, boo. Do you, bro. Okay? And I don't even have to ask. I know it's dovey. It practically closed itself. Come on, man. All right? Why you even ask anymore? Right? They got the nice mosaic pattern back here. But the grout is white. Alert! <laughs> All right? Brick lay pattern, which makes it more traditional. Okay? Plantation shutters, okay? And this is a nice family room, right? Very, very inviting, man. Very inviting indeed, all right? I'm liking the fan. They got the AC supply light right over the fan, which is gonna make the place cool if that fan is even moving. Um, wall to put any, almost almost any size TV. Very nice uh, fan space, enjoy TV, have conversations, okay? They have, I'm assuming this might be a half bathroom. Oh no, it's not. Are those big enough to do a vibe? This is a, they're using this as almost like a pantry as well, right? So this is a nice pantry. The only thing I would say is back here don't have light, so it's not properly illuminated. Although this is the daytime. Come on, man, this is kind of creepy, man. Okay, hey, who would be, like, hey, you know? You, you, want, you, want to, you want to turn on the switch? and it's illuminated, or add a switch so you can illuminate back there too, uh, into that extra space over there, all right? So that's why we are properly illuminated, but it's nice. It's nice to have a pantry, vibes like that. I can see in that little extra space, you can put water and all of that. Um, here with a piece of the touch of the modern vibes right here on a staircase, keeping it open and flowy, all right? Here go the formal dining. Man, this easily seats, seats, seats eight, right? And look what they did with the, on the wall where they put a little trim in to create this design and turn this, was, was probably like a boring wall into a beautiful feature wall. Okay, and they got, you got space in here for days. So this is nice. You got space over here and you got these big old baseboards. Look, look what I'm seeing. They must have a central vac somewhere in the place. How you know? Look at this. So you plug in your central vac your, the holes in here and it turns on and then that's where you could you know people people sweep but they use a vacuum now and um, you know vacuum up the floors a little bit easier and then the dirt goes into a central vacuum uh, is usually in the garage all right we'll find out I'm loving the natural light this place is getting okay since this is the the, the park D the master is downstairs, so we're about to enter the master, all right? But before we enter the master, they got a nice powder room, okay? And I love these powder rooms that have like a little, I wanna call it faux separation because there's only one door in here, but it gives you some sort of a separation. And I like the frost on the window, okay? I actually do love this little, tur these turtle shells illuminating. Oh man, this is nice, okay? Nice pedestal sink. All right, let's go into the master bedroom. Oh, before we go into the master bedroom, tease! Let's go outside, man. Because the master bedroom is supposed to be like the cake, but since it's master downstairs, then, you know, we, we got to eat that cake sooner than we want to before we go upstairs at least. But I'm going to delay this as, as much as I can. All right, let's go out here, man. I like how they, they, they put the wood on the deck. This is very like some up north type stuff where they put a lot of wood on the deck. Nice table right here that seats six. You got the um, the the Blaze grill out here, which is nice, man. This grill is gonna be creating memories. You got your fridge out here as well. All right, let's see what's to the side of the house. Okay, you got your pool pump. You got your AC. The AC's over there. All right, I'm loving this, this nice pool. And I'm actually loving this lanai back here, how it's elongated like this. So it creates like a little walkway, boom, lanai, and then it, it continues all the way over here. Yeah, so if it's raining and stuff, you can still walk to and from your garage, right? Right? And look, 
this is the Park D. So they say you can make this into a two or three car garage. If you make this into a three car garage, then I'm assuming that this, um, this, this little walkway goes away. All right, and, uh, but it will make upstairs bigger. Here go the cabana bathroom, all right? Which is properly laid down. They got that river stone on the bottom, pedestal sink, all right? Right under the staircase, because guess what? There's a casita. A casita, what's a casita? That's code for hurry up and buy the house, okay? A casita is a standalone, is a house that's, see upstairs is a casita. It's a house where you usually can put in-laws, three car garage, right? Where it has its own, usually a casita has its own like, everything in there, like maybe a little kitchenette, its own full bathroom, you know, bed. They try to make it like a little, maybe a little day bar. You get what I'm saying? Let's see what this casita has. So usually a casita is the standalone, so if you got in-laws, they could still feel like they're in their own vibe without, you know, impeding on, you know, they won't feel like they're impeding on yours. So like you give them their own house, basically, okay? And this is a lot of steps. So guess what, man? If this is for like your in-laws and your in-laws might be, you know, look, you know, sometimes their knees are not as good, then, this this might be like why man like you know they don't want to crawl these steps before like other guests oh they'll probably love this let's see what upstairs looking like oh man look in laws knee hurting but she going up and down she or he going up and down the steps every day why look at this casita man this is a beautiful casita loft okay you got your uh, king size bed over there, or queen, uh, that's a king size bed, right? You got a proper kitchen. This is somebody's apartment, okay? In your house. And it, got, and it has its own entry, all right? Proper kitchen with a stove. So look, it laws in here cooking down, cooking. Look, that's why the stairs are so long, because they're never gonna leave. The only way you see them is if you come upstairs, okay? Under Mount Saint, gooseneck faucet, right? Very cute, quaint, cozy area. This must be the pantry or AC. Okay, now get your life. They look, they get, look. <laughs> hey, the wash and dryer, man. Okay, so they definitely not leaving. You're not seeing them, period. Okay, you have to check if the lights are on, if they left or not. Okay, they still here though. Nice closet, beautiful man. Look, man, any in-law would be would love to come visit you, or any friends that knows that you have this. Hey, check the return ticket, man. All right, nice sink. I'm loving the stone. I'm loving the mosaic vibes. Look, cause look, it transfers off of this 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 nice 24 by 24 tile, and they put the mosaic in between it. Let me go closer so you can see it, and then boom. It just splatters all over this wall. The same old thing, but everywhere. That's nice. And that's a proud, proper shower head, frameless shower, okay? Nice, man, even storage for linen. Hey, they went in. Yo, they went in. Any friend, in-law, whoever's going to visit you, and they know you got this, I feel sorry for you, man, because you live in South Florida, and guess what? This is a popular destination, man. And look at that natural light in here, gets. I can't leave already. Leave, leave. But it is beautiful. All right, let's go. Ugh. Nice, all right? Let's skedazzle. Let me look, close that back. All right, and I like how they got the holes, the little holes in the ground. So you can put the little fat, the mesh fence for if you have kids, you know, so they won't, you know, get, you know, fall into the pool by accident. There's a fence there, or they don't play and slip, whatever. Okay. Now let's go into the master bath bedroom. Let's go. They got a four-year vibes that shares a powdered room, but this is nice. Yes. Look, this is a proper K. Hey. This don't feel like the regular king, man. This feel like a California king. And look what they do. And 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 then it got a special bed uh, tr treatment around it, bed uh, frame. I don't know what to call it, man. 
bed treatment. Okay, look at it, man. That is crazy. Look like Santa's sleigh. Okay, and look, they flossing on you with the side table dressers, man. Come on, man. Look at the space you have in here. And they put two proper um, stools in the front to show a space floss on you. And they gave you some slides with the curtain going behind uh, the molding they got there. Nice, the piece of wood. Beautiful tray ceiling with the wall, the texture. It looks like paint wallpaper, okay? If you don't know what painted wallpaper, Google, man. All right, nice high gloss, 24 by 24 tile. That's not high gloss, I'll say nice mid gloss, okay? You know from there to there's hers, why? Cause that's where the makeup vanity is. She's sitting on there comfortably. You got, she got hers, so you got yours. All right, big old mirror. I'm loving the natural lighting from, from outside of the lanai, you're getting that. Okay, you have a nice uh, water closet, frosted, okay, which is beautiful. And look at this. You got your zero threshold shower. Yo, which is very exquisite, look at that. Zero threshold means there's no bumps or step downs or steps up, you just walk in, right? Wanna get wet? No, because it, when the water comes out of here, even if it lands basically anywhere on this the ground, lands right there, eventually it will slide back into the drain because they created a gradient for when the anywhere the water hits, it just slides into the drain, okay? And this is a big enough space to do zero threshold, okay? I like the niche, the seat. Of course, they got it right on the frosted uh, glass because come on, man, you want your privacy. Okay, unless you're into other things, do you, boo, do you, bro. Okay, and I like how this mid gloss 24 by 24 tile going to this carpet, right? And this is a proper closet. Look, this is a his or her closet, so it's a coin toss to see who gets what. But man, look, from this wall to right here is yours, and that's being generous from right here all the way around. Yeah, that's hers, man. That sounds about fair, okay? She got shoes, more shoes, okay? Her clothes, everything, more than you. Come on, man, you already know the deal already, okay? All right, yes, this place do have an upstairs. So let's go. All right, come on. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, yo, that Jade Island, boy, that's a statement piece. Okay, let's go upstairs. I'm loving how this wood continues up the stairs, man. Okay, something about wood and metal, let us go together, man. I'm loving this natural lighting, and I'm loving how this open this open staircase is just showing off this beautiful loft up here. And I'm just looking up from right here to this tray ceiling to these full beams that's giving it like a tic-tac-toe pattern, or you can almost say like a coffer vibes. Okay, let's go. Did I say the windows are impact? Because they are. They go AC. So I won't be a surprise if this was one big AC. Yeah. And so upstairs is one zone and downstairs maybe two or three zones, okay? Let's go. So this is a big, beautiful loft. I keep saying it. The Florid Floridian basement. <laughs> Right? Why? Why would you call it that? Because you know, up north, other parts of the country, the basement is used as a like a gathering spot, especially if it's fixed up. I ain't talking about those, those unfinished basements, but those basements where it's fixed up and stuff. People love to you know gather and vibe there, and this is the essentially almost the same thing. Although you have downstairs as well, but what's unique about this is that if you if your kids will have any TV in the rooms, there's a chance for you to create a common space where you can see your kids, where they're not just living in their rooms, they're actually out in a common space where you can see them and maybe even join in with them to connect with them better, okay? So, you, you like they're showing you out here, they got a little chess table, okay? They got a little wraparound couch watching TV, or you can even change this chess table to a place where you can put two laptops and two people can sit down there and go in on some work or one person, whatever, okay? Keep it in a common space, man. I keep them out of their, their bedrooms, okay? And this balcony is connected to this loft area. It's a big balcony too, man. So you can come out here, it's facing the front of the house. 
come out here, have you know, extend the conversation, whatever, do yoga, meditate, whatever have you, man. Okay, beautiful, man. Overlooking the neighbors, say hi to your neighbors, and hi to that palm tree over there. Okay, all right. Skip trout texture on the ceiling. Let's go into the bedroom. Big door entry, man. Yo, these doors are about eight feet high, trust me. Tall, right? AC supply line, AC return in every room, man. That's a sign of, yes, you're doing it, man. Done properly to taste, okay? This is a, a full-size bed, all right? Two side, side table dressers, big. They, they try to space floss on you, man. This is gonna be some kid's room, right? And this is a big room, all right? Ensuite, okay? Don't 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 think we're playing around. We don't think culture is playing around. Okay. Nice. All right. Let me close that back. Double door entry into the closet is not walking, but it's big. Okay. Look, undermount sink, big mirror. Okay. I'm loving the only one of the the lights work. Okay. That's a bulb issue. Right. Nice, frame of shower. That's a proper um, shower head. And I love how they did the, um, this like black subway tiles vertical in a brick lay pattern. But this is nice. It makes the place look even that much taller. And they gave you the river stone on the bottom. So man, look, on your feet, it's gonna be therapeutic, boy. It's gonna be nice, man. Taking a shower in there with a proper shower head. And I love the stainless steel under my scent, man, that is nice. All right, let's go. We already saw the AC, and here go the laundry room. Wow, this is a this is one of the more spacious laundry rooms I've seen. Why? Wow, look at these front loaders, man. Right? Nice. Look at that. Look at what space you get with the front loaders. Okay. Let me close this back. Nice, okay. Look at the counter space. Sink, of course, with a pull out. Yeah. Come on, who said it? Dovetails. Come on, man. Don't play. And I'm loving the oval mosaic. So the backsplash and the grout is not white, although it doesn't make a difference because you're not cooking up here, I don't think. <laughs> Right? You got your nice linen closet. So you got you got space for days, man. All right? And you get your laundry done. Let's go into this room. Transitions from the wood to the carpet, which I like. Okay, I'd rather up here be straight, like, you know, one floor and then you can put area rugs. But some people are fans of this, of having carpets in the room. They want the whole place carpeted. They want the room carpeted. Okay, to each zone. And guess what, these carpets, the carpets I'm standing on is plush. Like I'm bouncing for real, okay? I'm loving this. Nice subway tile action with a mosaic frame and the whole vibes. It's laid in a brick lay pattern, right? Which makes it, uh, gives it more traditional feel. Nice tub, all right? You got about an inch on the stone and I like how it goes, it kind of goes up seamless to, to the mirror, okay? Decent wallpaper, of course you can do your vibe, right? And here go the closet, big walk-in closet. So this might be like the eldest person room or a nice guest. Okay, they would love that room, AC supply line. So even in the closet is cool. They're not playing with you and it's properly illuminated. Ain't no little dingy uh, dark areas, okay? All right. So look, man, if you like more property tours like these or like this, if you like property tours like this, then hit that subscribe button, man, and ring that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video, okay? And listen, man, if, you're, if you want more information about this property or any other property, some, any other property down here in South Florida or you're looking to relocate, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Even leave a comment down below and I'll be glad to help. Listen, man, thank y'all for watching this video. Thank you for rocking with me. Big up to all my subscribers, okay? Again, my name is Pierre Nicholson from Broken Nation down here in beautiful South Florida. Until the next time, peace.